So you probably think, if you just caught this video just randomly, that I'm sat here with a gorgeous, really old bass that looks kind of Brescian and really old. Well, in fact, it's actually a contemporary copy, so fairly modern copy of Gaspara de Salo. So he is the father of double bass. So the, the really the first basses that you could certainly say were double basses that weren't um, great bass viols or something else that wasn't quite a double bass were the double basses of Gaspara de Salo from Brescia in the late 1500s. Um, and the thing that I think is so interesting, if you look at the outline of it, it's exactly what we would consider today a modern double bass. You know, maybe it's a little bit full in the shoulder for some newer makers, but essentially this exactly, oh, excuse me. The, uh, <laughs> there's a break in the back here and um, yeah, break in the back and deep ribs. You know, it's exactly what we would expect to see, um, you know, a modern double bass today it often can look very much like this. However, this is an exact copy of one made in like 1580. Uh, in Brescia, in Italy, it's where the birthplace of, you know, it could arguably be the birthplace of um, stringed instruments. There's a lot of debate about that, but it's certainly where I would consider the, the birthplace of what we consider the, today the double bass, which um, is exactly this, a copy of Gasparo. Uh, beautiful Brescian sound holes, um, you know, sort of powerful arching, and it's got this stunning masquerature of figure in the front. So a lot of his instruments actually had that. Beautiful, um, beautiful f figure in the front. Double purfling as well. Um, so, you know, double purfling front and back. And then some of the original instruments I think were made of uh, willow and cherry. And so this is, this is cherry. <laughs> I've got to pick the bass up when I do that. This is cherry. And you can see it's been really nicely antiqued. So, um, you know, pretty heavily antiqued and it really looks the part. You know, you have to do a bit of a double take. Um, and I think it's, uh, it's an interesting one to look at because, you know, some people really want an old looking bass and obviously to get an original Gaspar de Salo, you'd have to sell your house now um, or more um, or very big house. Uh, but this bass obviously is a fraction of the price, but looks the part and Tom's going to play it for you in a bit, but it really sounds amazing too. Um, it's beautifully set up. Um, and so when we, when we got this bass in, um, and we got it in years ago and we've since sold it and it's come back and we're selling it again. But basically we redid the neck. So we did a scroll graft, we set the neck ourselves and everything. So what you've got here is the Martin neck set, Martin setup, Martin bridge elevation and everything else, you know, our bottom nut, everything. So, um, you've got a great sounding bass, but it's also really, um, been made for you to play. Uh, made comfortable. So, yeah, um, again, kind of Brescian-y scroll, actually. If you look uh, up here, we've got sort of flat back of the scroll, which um, some of them had, you know, some of them also had like a different sort of fancy shapes of the peg, peg boxes, but it's a slightly different kind of Brescian-inspired scroll, um, which I think looks really cool. Um, yeah, so if you are looking for a base that looks really old, but has the reliability, playability of a new bass and also won't break the bank, this is one to check out.